Might have been the wave of the morning. <laughs> <laughs> like instantly, as soon as I saw it, I was like, "You're in a really good spot," and started paddling really early. As soon as I took like the first like initial strokes into it, I knew that I had it, and I yelled like, "Ho!" Oh! <laughs> and as soon as I got to my feet, I like knew that I just the board just like sucked me down the face with so much speed that when I got to the bottom and set it on rail, it just like. Shroop! up into the pocket and it was I was in the perfect spot like it was total like fate like I was meant to catch that way. um this is a 9-4 that um is a new design that Sean has been working on for a long time um it's the board the same model that Albie's been stuck on and won't get off of <laughs> um it's called the sprocket basically it's like a lowered entry nose rocker and it has like a lot of kick off the tail and it's basically just like a paddle machine. I was a little nervous on going a foot shorter than my other boards. When Jaws isn't breaking, what do you feel like is the best way to prepare yourself for that big day? Um, I think a lot of it is mental preparation. It's like knowing your body and what you're capable of. Um, I think a lot of people, like we still don't even know what the human body can truly do, you know, we're learning stuff every day. So for me, I think just being in the water and like surfing every day, everything that you learn from longboarding to catching like two, three footers up to like double overhead, like all those things come into play when you're riding big waves. And from reading the bump and which way it's gonna go, like you don't understand that unless you've spent a lot of time in the ocean. And so I think surfing is the ultimate training, but as far as like my mental confidence, I get that a lot from like physical training in the gym and when my body's feeling super fit and I'm doing like things that make my body feel powerful and empowered. So I had the, okay, that was the wave of your life. You could totally go in now. And then you're just on such a high that you want to go back out. And everybody's like, get back out there and get more. So I went back out and I just had like my perma grin on my face, so I was pretty content sitting there like talking with Sean and watching my friends catch waves. So I ended up just cruising on the ski and hoping Cal would get a bomb. And um, it was definitely, it's always like it's the most entertaining show in the world to be in the channel at your favorite spot. 